Legend has it that there is a creature out in the jungle that is huge with orange hair all over it, human-like, highly intelligent, with wise eyes, extremely elusive, and we are in search of it. The local people call it Orang Utan, which means the people of the forest. So we are going to go out and see if we can find it. Previously on Two Up and Overloaded, we arrived by boat to Kumai, Indonesia, known as the springboard to the dense jungles of this wild island of Borneo. And we soon learned that the only way to really access the jungle is to take a boat into it. There are no roads through this forest because this is one of the last pure, untouched wildernesses of the world. And so that is what we decided to do, take a boat along a river that would take us into the heart of the forest. But this is pretty cool. I'm so excited, I can't even express. Because apparently there is a mysterious creature that lives in this intense wilderness and nowhere else on earth. Larger and stronger than a man, some say they are just as wise as humans, with eyes that see straight to the soul. They are orang utans and we are on the path to finding them in the wild. Hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa no tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places we'll go. Through rain and through seed and through mud and through snow. Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see. We've been to a country or two or three. Oh, all the, the fun we've, we've had. had. You have you along would make us real glad. So give us a like and, and hit subscribe to join us along our epic ride. pirate boat <laughs> yes. with our little two-up flag pulled into <laughs> dock and we got off. Uh, yes, this was going to be our first research station, orangutan research station, that we were going to visit and it was called Tanjung Harapan. It's one of the only places in the world where you can see wild orangutans. This was the first area of the world where they started studying orangutans and they set up these research stations in order to study them and would feed them periodically yeah. to get their research. And they are wild, right? Uh, they're free roaming, I we should you know, say. Uh, and they're, they're wild. Yeah. But uh, to be able to look at them, to study them, they, they do set up feeding areas. So it is a, a magnet to, to bring them to a certain area, but there's always, there's never a guarantee Correct. of them showing up. That's right. Kind of like old country buffet. Yes. <laughs> and we had been warned that this was the fruit season. And so since the trees yeah. were full of fruit, there's not a lot of incentive to come eat the food that's provided at the research station. Yeah. But we were keeping our fingers crossed and headed into the jungle. No, we headed into that freaking museum. The museum, oh yeah. That, yeah, it was like, you know, pre-terrified. Like, <laughs> there's, there's just some of the things you might see in the forest. We're like, oh, no, tell us about orangutans. Like, no, there's a scorpion. <laughs> and there's this millipede of death. And yeah, there are a lot of very venomous creatures yeah. in the forest. It's like a mad scientist lab with like different gross things and brine. It's like. Yeah, and we're on this wooden boat that we're going to be staying on for two days in a river that is full of these very dangerous crocodiles that do eat people. So there's that too. So as we're walking down the, the path, we hear some rustling and bustling up in the trees to the left. Oh my God, there is an orangutan in the tree. We literally walked pose five seconds. Pick up the pose. <laughs> sure enough, you look over into wherever people like magnetize to and then just look up. You're like, all right, there's a high chance that it's a uh, you know, an orangutan. So we go over there and it sure was. It was a mama and her baby. I know! With 
within five yeah. minutes of walking into the jungle. This mama was like behind trees and really far away, but just the first sighting of yes. like, oh my God, there's a thing. And that thing is awesome. Little did we know that we were going to be face to face with these wilderness. Amazing creatures. Yeah. That moment was so magical for me just because it, I had had this dream of seeing orangutans in the wild since I was a little girl and I probably watched some David Attenborough thing, but I just thought, oh, how cool would that be? And it turned out that I was there on this island of Borneo where they're wild and actually seeing a wild mother and her baby. Yeah. Ah! It was amazing. It was really, really cool. We actually saw one Another other orangutan one. on the way there. That again, it's the first station. So I get everybody's just like, oh my God, another one. And finally, we come to a clearing where they have these benches set up at a distance from a wooden platform where they were to feed the orangutans. Yeah, and like these guys come with like these big old wicker baskets on their back and they're going, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Something's happening, you know, like they're gonna <laughs> tie a lamb up to, you know, <laughs> some T Rex is gonna come, but they they undo and what do they is a mystery, you know, like what is it gonna be? Yeah, what are they gonna feed orangutans? What do orangutans eat? Yeah, we'll pause the video and just let you think. <laughs> what, what do orangutans eat? Bananas, it's crazy. Bananas! Like what are they gonna throw barrels at Mario too? Like this is, you know, like. Come on. But this absolutely makes sense because bananas are from this region of the world. And yeah. so, yeah, they do eat bananas. They spread them out and then sure enough. A big male showed up and you can tell because of these strange uh, facial extrusions that he has. Then a mother and child showed up and then all of a sudden all of these orangutans were just coming out of the woodwork, mm -hmm. coming out of the woods and having a banana having feast. Yeah. Big ones, yeah. little ones, the little babies. Oh my God, they're the oh. cutest things in the world. They look like, uh, like if you go underneath your couch, like dust bunnies. You know, like they're just these little so fuzzy. fuzzy. I'm taking pictures of them. They all look out of focus just because there's no like, <laughs> there's no like solidity to them, to their hair. They're it's just fuzzy, like, but like also bald. Yeah. They're kind of shy though, so they. They are. Amazingly, they have these like very distinct personalities and for a wild creature, they're also so human-like. I mean, so they kind of like, yeah, turn away from us and... Well, who wants to be stared at while they're yeah. eaten by like a group of people being like, ooh. Like every time you do a full of like salad, they're like, ah. I think there's some kind of hierarchy or at least respect system. Yes. Because some would come in from the side and grab some, some nanners and then and run off. Jolly Roger up the, the trees. Orangutans have a lot of similarities to humans. They are part of the great ape family that includes gorillas, chimpanzees, and of course, us. They even share more than 97% of their DNA with humans. They grow to be between four to five feet tall, which is pretty tall for an ape that lives in the trees, and also weighs between 70 to 165 pounds. In fact, they are the largest tree-dwelling animal on Earth. Orangutans make beds in the trees to sleep in using leaves and twigs. Sometimes they'll also make a roof-like structure for when it rains. They are mostly vegetarian, eating fruits and leaves, bark, nuts, bird eggs, and insects. Females will keep their baby with them for up to eight years. That means they only give birth every eight years as well. And this is the longest time between births of any land dwelling animal. They are considered one of the most intelligent of primates. They have been known to use tools for food foraging, river crossings, and will even use leaves against their mouths to amplify their calls. They've also been shown to have self-awareness in a mirror test. That's so crazy. And you can just look at their faces and tell how similar they are to people. You can see them looking at you, but and especially when you got your camera zoom, zoom and going on, you can see them like up, up close and they're staring at you.
as we were coming back from the feeding, we had a pretty awesome, but also a little bit terrifying experience uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with an orangutan. There were some bananas on the ground that a mom and a baby, the mom was trying to get down to the bananas to get, but it was like out of the feeding zone type scenario. And so it's along the, the, the pathway that all the tourists were on. We kind of crossed paths. Yeah, I think she felt threatened that oh, we were gonna sure take did. the bananas. Yeah. Cause she was, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. And she was throwing leaves and yeah. making these very snapping, jerky movements, um, very, very loud movements. She was right there, we were right there. She wanted these bananas. And she was letting it known that she was going to get these they bananas. They were her bananas. They were her bananas. Mm -hmm. And she got them, but it was such an interesting display of aggression because we'd seen this very soft, calm, shy side yeah. to the orangutans. They are not as social as many other great apes. They do live pretty solitary lives, despite the baby staying with the mother for so long. Besides that, they're pretty much alone. So to see this kind of interaction between them and us was a really unique experience. Finally, we get back on the boat and we head off for the evening down the river into the jungle even further. Yeah, and you kind of just pick your own wherever you want to sleep, right? I mean, yeah. the bed's on the boat and the bed is very luxurious. <laughs> but on our way, we started seeing... Uh, I proboscis. Call, yeah, proboscis. I call them pro hibiscus. <laughs> Proboscis monkeys. Yeah. And they're the ones with the... The giant, <laughs> giant noses. The, the gonzo noses from Sesame Street. Oh! There's some proboscis nosed monkeys over there in the forest. And those are the monkeys that have like that really big nose. <laughs> and apparently the males, the bigger the nose, the more attractive it is for the females. <laughs> and yes. then the women, they're so pretty and proper and prime and their noses are turned <laughs> up. And the, like, it's just, there's the, the laws of physics. Like one goes up and the other one goes way <laughs> down. <laughs> And the bigger and the grosser, the more babies they'll have. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And there were tons of these monkeys yeah. on the side of the river. They hang out by the river and, uh, you know, they hang out in large squads. Groups. Yep. If you see one, you're probably going to see a lot more. And that's very exciting because and they just jump. I mean, it's just crazy. It's yeah. just nuts to They're see. They're super acrobatic. Yeah. When you see like the big gross nose, you're so satisfied and disgusted all at the same time. <laughs> it's just like if humans could age to 400 years old, just imagine how big the nose could get. And so our boat headed along the river to where we were going to stay the night. But before we were going to spend our night, deep within the dense jungle of Borneo, we were actually going to take a walk into that jungle to the in jungle, the night. jungle, baby. You're gonna survive. <laughs> we were going to encounter lots of other wildlife, but this was more of the glow-in-the-dark variety. Yeah. That will all be in the next episode.
So thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Bing, bing. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. And we want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you so much for making this wonderful experience happen for us. We're so happy to be able to share it with you. And if Patreon is your thing, you can check out our Patreon page and join for as little as a dollar a month. And that will gain you early access to our videos, ad-free, exclusive content, and also every once in a while a postcard maybe. This is true. So check it out and thank you so much to all of our patrons. Can't thank you enough for the support guys. Bye. Peace. We're 98% the same genes. I'm like, I might 97. be like, nine, no, I'm 98. Oh, because you're part me. I got this prehistoric brow here. You're lucky that I'm not growing these things. That might be to come. <laughs> my, my ears might just morph down and out. <laughs> Just need to mature a little bit. Yes, yeah. <laughs> mature. Marissa, mature.